I'm going to give you a few reasons why I have been incredibly bearish on Cardano and why I'm completely flipping my stance and my position on Cardano. This is Peer to Peer Trades. Hello and welcome to Peer to Peer Trades. My name is Justin and here on the channel we focus on crypto fundamental analysis and technical analysis. So if this is your first time joining us, I want to invite you to subscribe and uh, yeah, enjoy the video where a long time Cardano bear, um, every day I warm up more and more to Cardano as the fundamentals in continue to increase and uh, in my opinion, become better than Ethereum, you know, uh, this is I, I do want to preface this entire video by saying that uh, these are my opinions. I've been in cryptocurrency for over five years now, and I've seen a lot of different protocol designs. I've seen a lot of uh, cryptos come and go and, and they they're here one day and gone the next. Uh, Cardano has been very consistent and so has Ethereum. I have been a huge proponent of Ethereum for years and years and years. Um, one of the major reasons that I was so fond of Ethereum was that it was a smart contract platform that used proof of work. Now that Ethereum has gone away from proof of work, we don't have too many viable smart contract platforms that operate on a proof of work um, consensus model. So then we need to go and take a look at the competitors and what they're doing and, and how that differs in terms of uh, their protocol design. And uh, since all of the major uh, proof of stake smart contract layers are, uh, well, is, now that they're all proof of stake, we need to reevaluate where the uh, protocol designs are truly strong. And I continue to be impressed with Cardano. Um, during the 2020, 2021 bull market, incredibly bearish on Cardano because they were pricing it as though it was already a smart contract platform before smart contracts were launched. When the smart contracts did launch, it was a very sloppy launch. There was a lot of uh, bad design and bad protocols um, and and apps just weren't working. But that's no longer the case. Sunday Swap works. Uh, the NFT community is very, very strong on Cardano. But one metric that is that is truly, uh, you know, well, head and shoulders above Ethereum is developer activity. So sentiment is uh, tracking, you know, GitHub commits and uh, other metrics that are contributing to, you know, developer activity on the chains. And Cardano has the highest developer activity out of all of the uh, smart contract platforms uh, as measured by sentiment. So you could make the argument that Ethereum has uh, its developer activity segmented into different groups because we have Ganache and we have Hard Hat and we have all of these uh, layer two kind of developer portals for Ethereum. But as far as its direct competitors like Polkadot and Atom, um, Cardano's above the rest with a margin of 18% more activity on GitHub than uh, Polkadot, which came in second. So a lot of really encouraging things that we're seeing here um, with Cardano. And like I said, I've been a long-term, long-term Cardano bear. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I'm honest with the market. I'm honest with my opinions. I'm honest with myself. And when I see some fundamentals that shift, I need to shift as well. So I'm also a trader. Let's, uh, let's move things over now that kind of my, my theory of the fundamentals of Cardano have been made clear. I want to take a look at what's going on with the technicals as well with Cardano. Testing. Okay, so now let's take a look at uh, the technicals of Cardano. So here I'm on the BitGet chart. Uh, if you guys do want to support the channel, just go ahead and sign up for BitGet. There's a $4,150 reward for uh, qualifying deposits. So if you uh, are wanting free money, then uh, use my link down below. Um, but yeah, BitGet's great. Uh, they have... <laughs> if you're a shit coiner, they have everything. I was actually quite uh, surprised when I was doing uh, research on BitGet and realized how uh, robust of a roster of uh, coins they have available there. So if you've been hanging out on KuCoin, they, they pretty much have the same uh, 
same roster as KuCoin. They've got pretty much everything. But anyways, I digress. Let's take a look at Cardano here. So Cardano has been in a long term downtrend here, multi multi year downtrend, not here on the BitGet chart, but long term downtrend. And we have a change of character. So this is the first thing that you want to identify when analyzing a trend is you'll have this very steep and uh, certain behavior to the price. And then all of a sudden, the behavior of the price changes. We've gone from free fall and uh, lack of support to sideways consolidation with a tighter spread. So that's the first signal that something has changed. When something has changed, we can begin to take a dissect it into smaller pieces and see what's going on. And from what I see here in Cardano, we're seeing a little bit of a squeeze. You know what? Let's actually go with the candle body closes on this one here on the, uh, let's go to the daily chart, actually. All right, so I'm going to go with the candle body closes. Let's actually just go over to the line chart and make it easy. All right, so I'm just going to go with the candle body closes here on the daily right there and there. And then we can draw the support line here as well using the candle body closes. And what we begin to see is we have a channel. So I don't anticipate that Cardano is ready for any large movements just yet. I still think that we have some sideways and maybe, well, because this channel is pointed down, I do anticipate, you know, maybe continuation of this downwards channel. But uh, what I'm also noticing is just the behavior of the price is showing a lot of characteristics that indicate to me that this is accumulation. So what do you do in periods of accumulation? You accumulate, you know, this is an appropriate DCA um, environment for those who are the long term Cardano investors, we're in an appropriate technical trading pattern for you to uh, begin to DCA. Now, there's nothing in this world that can tell you when the bottom is in there's there's no technical indicator that can tell you a bottom is in or or that we can't fall to lower levels so it, you know anything you hear on this channel is is just going to be you know my opinions uh nothing here is to be construed as financial advice but the behavior of the price that we're seeing here on the daily chart and the fundamentals of cardano and the fact that nobody's talking about cardano that's another thing too to take into consideration with your trades and investments is the sentiment around the currency cardano sentiment is very low and and people just aren't really talking about it you want to be greedy when others are fearful and fearful when others are greedy if people uh, don't give a shit about something that is fundamentally superior than other coins that they are talking about then you have a competitive advantage in the market there if you know how to handle it now for the traders out there you know okay so dca where we're, we're going to continue to trade sideways here dca kind of an interesting volume signature here with a uh, very little um effect on that but you know bitget uh is a, a newer exchange with smaller liquidity so this could just be a, a reflection of bitget getting more popular but yeah so if you're in the dca crowd you know we're in the dca environment so continue to dollar cost average as you wish now if you are in the traders crowd what you're going to want to see is you're going to want to see us overtake the resistance um at the uh at the upper end of the channel if we can get above flash a sign of strength and hold above the channel that's going to be your uh entry point into cardano so as it stands right now we are either dollar cost averaging in or you are waiting for a more clear shift of the momentum um in cardano now speaking of momentum we're going to go ahead and take a look at our custom indicator alpha new metrics alpha new metrics is still showing that the red way or that the wave is red okay so here on alpha new metrics you can see that the wave is red so that's indicating that we are still in a pretty strong bearish trend we can also take a look at the 50 the 30 and the 7 ema they are still in bullish alignment but the 7 ema is beginning to curl to the upside let me just delete some of that oops not alpha new metric it is begin to curl to the upside so once the seven crosses the 30 and the 50 that's going to be the first sign that there is a, a little bit of a shift a little bit of a momentum change to the price of cardano so uh this is looking you know it, it's heading in the right direction the behavior that i'm seeing here in the price of cardano is is certainly advantageous and uh noteworthy 
Um, so again, you know, this, uh, this leads us into watching for us to get above the channel and begin to consolidate where that break of that consolidation is going to be the most the highest advantageous uh, entry point for the price of Cardano. So that's all the time I have just to recap, you know, we, the price behavior that we're seeing is showing a lot in terms of accumulation. Um, so if you are part of the DCA crowd, you know, the bottom is uh, either in or close and uh, the volatility has been reduced enough that DCAing will be quite effective. Um, and then for the traders out there, we're looking for that pop. We're looking for that sign of strength and that consolidation on top of the channel and continuation above that point. So that's all the time I have for today. Thank you for joining in. Uh, if you uh, have any projects that you would like me to take a closer look at, uh, leave them in the comment section down before, uh, below. Don't forget to claim your free deposits on BitGet Exchange. And uh, yeah trade safe. Uh, this has been Peer to Peer Trades.